Hey, hey, it's Mr. Coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, with possibly the weirdest hair I ever had. This hair keeps on growing, guys. It's not stopping, and I'm looking forward to see where this story will end. But welcome back to the Become a Legend series with Benjamin, who's chasing down that playtime message with consistent, great performances. Last episode, he scored his first free kick. Unbelievable performances from the last episode. Had a hat-trick, then had two goals, then had two goals that decided the matches that he played in and just kept on picking up the three points for Liverpool as Manchester City and Benjamin's father have been doing exactly the same. Our team is trying to get away from them but it is not made possible. So we hope to continue the great performances of Benjamin to finally get him that playtime message but a good thing happened in the last episode which was that he went up to an 86 rating. Benjamin now is definitely already one of the best in the world and once he's done with Liverpool he's going to move on to a team that is much worse and he's going to try and get that team to new levels. That is going to be the plan that I have set for myself and I'm looking forward to that but up until then we have to get this guy to have his best season ever appearances 33 goal contributions right now at 39 so we are six goal contributions ahead of his appearances which is something that we want to definitely achieve this season last season we should, we fell short by just one goal contribution which really bothers me but we will get it done this season, hopefully. And on top of it, of course, as Liverpool is sat in the first position, Benjamin is going to try and win that top scorer. He's up against Jamie Vardy and Harry Kane, who has been catching up lately. But we now have a two-goal advantage over Jamie Vardy again. Ever since he took over that position, we have put in some absolutely in incredible performances as I struggle to speak English. And we have taken over that first position, not only in the top scorer list, but also in the assists we have kept that position as David Silva is chasing us from Manchester City but hey before I even ask for likes before I even say anything I just wanted to say this first of all thank you guys for the incredible support on this series so far I really really do appreciate it on top of it I hope everyone stays safe I hope you guys are in a great position um, where your family doesn't get affected by this whole issue and uh, yeah I, I hope you guys have a great day so let's jump into the episode we have uh, Watford we have Arsenal we have West Ham coming up now as far as you know you would think oh Arsenal is a sick team well Arsenal was in the 20th position for quite some time now they have caught back up though they have 25 points and 13th position right now they have been doing better than they did initially they had a hard time but Watford is in a 14th position Arsenal is in the 13th and then West Ham is in the 17th now if there was ever a time for Benjamin to continue scoring that time is now we will try and get him that playtime message no matter what it is and also some comments right here Firdao Cecil says what a name by the way uh, Johnny I have good tips for you actually the playtime message is decided by the game itself your best bet is to perform every game Benjamin plays consistently my advice is to go with skill training and trained fighting spirit it's a passive skill which allows you to play better in every matches now I don't know what it is because he says I don't know whether this skill affects the chances you will get uh, that the me about the message but at least go to that skill training and have a look first and then you'll decide so let me take a look at the training session about what he just said we still have a knuckle, knuckle shot for another 69 days uh, he's saying fighting spirit now what is that about is it anywhere in here? Man marking, captaincy, fighting spirit. Enables players to perform better under pressure and fatigue, as well as adversity. That's interesting. So, when he has no stamina, when he is uh, close to players, so when they, when they are putting pressure on him, and when the team is down, he does better. That's an interesting skill. I've never, I never saw that. So thank you so much for pointing that one out. I appreciate that, my man. Um, and yeah, I, I'm gonna consistently try and perform to get that message, as I said before. And Hassan right here says, Jani, the reason Benjamin uses his right foot most of the time is because his weak foot usage is on two. You can change that from the appearance settings. I know that, but we had changed it on purpose because he kept using his left foot in positions where he shouldn't use it. So I don't want to change it back. I know 
know he misses a couple of chances because he doesn't use his left foot in positions but more often than not he uses his right foot in the position where I want him to use it to get the goal into the back of the net so I don't want to play with the um, with the appearance setting yet another comment coming in from Kigosi Nagala and he says what if Johnny was trolled about the message so he can score more and assist less imagine if my chat, this entire my comments this entire time have been telling me, oh, if you get two goals in back to back to back to back message uh, matches, you will get the playtime message, and that gives you double XP. And if that was like a plot created by you guys, that my friends would be something else. I hope you guys haven't done that to me. I would be so upset, but at the same time, I would respect you guys for pulling a troll through for weeks upon weeks. Oh, also, let me know in the comments down below, guys, has your internet been crashing all the time as well? So apparently in the UK, it's Virgin Media. In Netherlands, it's Zico. It's in Germany, it is Vodafone. Everyone's internet has been crashing yesterday. Yesterday, we had an incredible FIFA stream. We had like nearly 300 people watching us at the same time. We have broken yet another subscriber record on Twitch. We are on 503 subs at the moment, which again is just unbelievable. I don't even know how this is all happening. The, the Twitch streams are just crazy. Um, uh, have you guys have had internet issues as well? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know which provider you have because it just seems like the entire world yesterday just dropped off in internet, it's, it's, it's at least in Europe. And uh, it keeps on continuing. Just now, my internet went away. So, seems like today's stream might be the same. We might have some issues. As we were just getting an insane amount of new followers, we were number one shown on... Yes! Salah! 12 minutes! His left foot is back! I feel like he hasn't scored in a long time. I feel like no one has scored in a long time because Benjamin has been the one carrying the squad. But finally, the pressure has been taken off our shoulders. Mohamed Salah scores on his left foot. Watford is down 1-0 already in the 12th minute. And that hopefully gets us into a better position to attack more and more in the rest of the game. But um, yeah, going back to the whole thing about Twitch, we had 300 people watching, then the internet cut out, we went down to 80 people, worked our way back up towards 250, then the internet cut out again, and then we worked our way back up to towards 200 again. It was a crazy night with ups and downs. I was so happy when I saw that so many people were enjoying us playing FIFA, dropping new follows and, sh and stuff. So if you guys were one of the new follows, thank you so much for coming in from the YouTube channel. No! How did that just go through my legs? I was through! Here I'm through again! Benjamin, step over! Beautiful! Shoots! And scores! Consistent performances! And we have just scored a goal after a skill move! Yes, man! I needed this! I needed to see that he can get past people with a skill move! And the step over! Take a look at that one! Take a look at the step over right here. Great pass from Aliceda, the new transfer. Bang, getting past him. And then the power into the bottom left. It's perfect. Liverpool are up 2-0. Benjamin wants that playtime message and I'm going to get it to him. We need more goals. I need at least two goals in this match. We need to perform consistently. And maybe, just maybe, someday we'll get that double XP. Also, I've been reading a lot of news about Newcastle lately, guys. Uh, Biscuit, our editor who is editing this video, say hi, Biscuit, right here. He's going to say hi or he's going to be that guy and he's just going to put his hi in there. Uh, but uh, obviously... He will be quite happy about the Newcastle takeover. I think True Jordy um, is incredibly happy about it uh, when it does finally go through. But there, there seem to be some crazy, crazy plans. Apparently, they want to bring in Pochettino into the team. I think Pochettino would be the perfect coach to try and build a club up uh, because he has done it already with Spurs. And I do believe that he can do it again. Mo Salah, big mistake by the defense. Yes, dude, get in. 2-0, no, 3-0, two goals for Benjamin, it is ta -ta 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 time, let's go, dude, I never thought Salah would get to that pass, that pass was horrible, I have to admit, man, the Pez AI, when it comes to defending, sometimes makes some weird choices, it, it, I, I don't want to say the game's trash, but 
At times, there are moments where I feel like the AI just doesn't lock onto the ball when it should be. That was a finesse shot, by the way, and he just went with the outside of the boot. We'll take it, though. We'll take it. So going back to the whole Newcastle takeover thing, I personally would be very happy. Because for me, Newcastle has always been a team that whose name I remember from back in the day when I wasn't even a YouTuber, when I wasn't even, um, like into English football as much as I was. There was a bunch a bunch of teams whose names I remember. Of course, Manchester United was one of the ones that were dominating back in the day. So when I was living in Austria, when I was living in Turkey, I kept hearing their name. But the first team I ever heard of in England was Leeds United. And the second one possibly might have been Newcastle. So um, yeah, I, I really look forward to them having some cash again because they have been struggling for years and it would be nice to see them become a proper team in England because their kits are iconic the black and white is something that everyone will remember oh hold on oh that would have been a nice goal there to score but I think they could make some crazy transfers apparently Malang Sar from um, Nice the player that has a SBC in ultimate team if you guys remember he is the best center back in my team I love that card by the way um, he is potentially going to go on a free to Newcastle. I mean, there could be some crazy transfers happening in the next transfer window once it opens up. I expect Newcastle to do some mad business. And I don't think Mbappe is going to come around, but I think some great players are going to come. I just realized that I have absolutely no stamina, so I might need that fighting spirit, you know. That fighting spirit might come in quite handy as we try and score another one. Benjamin falls down, picks it up. Another hat-trick. Yes! Dude, if I don't get it now, I will never get it. I'm telling you, bro, it's just never going to happen. If I'm not getting the playtime message after my performances in the last episode and this one, even though I got really lucky there, I'm going to be so upset. I should be getting it by now, man. That is a good scoreline against Watford, a realistic one as well. Watford shouldn't really be... Um, taking too many points away from Liverpool but saying that they are the only team that have beaten Liverpool in real life so I guess it's not as realistic but Benjamin keeps on scoring he is just shooting and shooting and shooting getting them goals three goals in this one very good performance from him I want that playtime message after this game please give it to me and he doesn't have any stamina left so I would actually appreciate getting subbed off I wish there was a function to call for a sub off, honestly. I, I genuinely wish there was something like that in the game to tell the coach, hey, my time has come because I'm on like 15% stamina. I, I might get injured if I try hard. Ali Seda making a great running behind. That's a good ball as well into him. He's gonna play it across. I might have taken part in that attack if he played it back in, but it's not gonna happen. 10 minutes to go in this game as we try and just run as less as possible as, as as less is that the right word least as possible i guess that's the right way of saying it oh it seems like oxlade chamberlain has picked up a knock so he's getting subbed off shakiri has now joined into the game uh, a bit unfortunate to see our players get injured there but that should be the end of the game the referee blows the whistle benjamin with another hat trick man of the match and uh, hopefully man of the month as well. He has been playing some incredible football lately, guys. I'm very, very happy with his performances. Six shots, for, uh, four goals for Liverpool. Incredible. 8.5. Yes, come on now. Please. We had a hat-trick, two goals, another goal, another one, and then a hat-trick again. So please show me that we can get something out of this. And Manchester City have drawn. Yes. Yes. Come on. All right. We have taken a two-point advantage out of that game over Man City. Very happy with that. Still 86 rated. But Benjamin now has 28 goals scored in 34 matches. Possibly could try and catch up to the appearances just by his goals alone. But we'll see if that works out for him. Finishing low passing. Balance is going up. He has that four-star week for accuracy. And of course, he has very low stamina. But the good thing is, a week, an entire week of no football is coming in at the perfect time. And give me that playtime message. Come on. Just one more day. Last day of the transfer window. We're not going anywhere. Am I getting it? Am I getting it? Not yet. Not yet, bro. We're up against Arsenal, who have just gotten a draw against Man City, so they might have improved, guys. They might have improved. And if they have, 
I'm here to try and beat them. We have Arsenal coming up, West Ham, and then Manchester United as well. <sighs> All right, let's get it on then. Arsenal, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm at my best form right now. Benjamin is on fire at the moment, and he needs to keep it up. 21 years old. He's already rip, ripping apart the Premier League and also, hopefully, the Champions League soon enough. Liverpool at home against Arsenal. Last time we played against them, they were at the bottom of the league table, and we pushed them further down than that. With their goal difference, we hurt them big time. But respect to Arsenal for coming back until the uh, moment where they actually got to uh, get a draw against Man City so it seems like Arsenal might be back on top on their performances Benjamin seems to be ready um, he should have full stamina as well going into this game so uh, that is great hopefully yes he does have full stamina lovely so we will have a good game right here with Benjamin Arsenal and Liverpool though playing defensive oh, I hate these games Salah Mohamed Salah I'm in the middle, waiting for the cross, it's coming in, it's Mane, Sadio Mane, he scores, sixth minute, Arsenal what's going on, what is going on, Danilo's cross was perfect, he crosses it in on his left foot I believe, and Sadio Mane warps through his defender, his defender made a big mistake I think guys, we can take another look at that just uh, on the replay. I think he should have easily, easily cleared that. But the right back, I think that might be Mustafi. Is it Mustafi? No. Dude, whoever that is, Cedric, that is horrible defending. Genuinely, that is some of the worst defending I've seen. More and more, man. Pez, your defending is really bad. Like, you need to improve that. That's ridiculous. Even if I was playing on like amateur, I don't want to see anything like that. That is just unnatural. What is it now? 35, 36 episodes of Benjamin so far. And we have had a look throughout an incredible career, man. I'm really looking forward to PES 21 already. I think in PES 21, guys, I'm going to be doing a Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. career mode. Just so you guys know, we might be doing something like that as we do get the shot off. The first shot of Benjamin in this half. Ah, decent one as well. I just didn't get it on target. I actually felt as well that I was aiming a little bit bad there. Um, that was a bit too far to the right. So with that, we don't score. But I'm looking forward to do a Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. Um, uh, become a legend in PES 21. And I might do it right from the get-go along with the FIFA content. Um, or as soon as PES comes out, I think PES comes out a little bit earlier then uh, FIFA if I'm not mistaken it always comes out like a week or two earlier so we might have some good old PES content coming in with PES 21 and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into FIFA but PES is gonna get a proper go on the channel once it comes out I'm looking forward to it hopefully they improve some stuff because there has been lots of content made on YouTube this year with become a legend uh, Manny has been doing a series on it if I'm not mistaken because people keep kept telling me about it um, I think some other people have been doing some on that as well. It just seems to be the best game mode on this game for many people to hop into. There's only one thing I don't like about the way Liverpool play. It's the fact that Salah always cuts inside and is right next to me. Like, we are both in the same position. While he should normally be down that wing, um, creating some space for me. He's just pushing defenders towards me rather than pulling them away from me for me to have some more space. So that's the only downside of playing with Liverpool, especially when Salah is on the pitch. He's a bit too close to me. I hope that can be something that changes naturally, but I don't think it will. And the first half is over. It is only 1-0. Only one goal from Sadio Mane, no goal from Benjamin so far. We haven't gone without a goal in many, many matches. So this second half is very important to keep up the great form of Benjamin. I need to score here, guys. I need to score desperately. Full stamina, 45 minutes to go. And Arsenal is playing more attacking already. Great. I definitely have to admit, Arsenal have gotten much better since the last time we played them. 100%, guys. They are doing a much better job right now in their team. Just... Getting the defense tight, making sure that Benjamin doesn't get a chance. That has been the main thing that they have done in this game. And we now only have 20 minutes left to score a goal. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. But if we do keep on getting good steals like that, we might be able to pull something off. We just need to make sure that we play the right passes with the people that are on the ball. As they are on high attack. Benjamin tries to get past here. Impossible. Sadio plays it over the top. 
Saliba is chasing Benjamin down. Saliba has turned out to be an absolute monster to play against. And he's up against me in the corners as well. Cross coming in. Benjamin jumps up. Go on, Benjamin. Now on the line. They clear it. I genuinely was aiming towards the top right, but it went down to the left. Should have been an easy goal, man. I had a feeling we could score that. I think this might be it, boys. I think this might be the game in which we don't score. Props to Arsenal for having a good defense throughout the entire game, apart from that one chance they bottled. Mane, good ball. Benjamin, two defenders, three defenders. Benjamin keeps on going, keeps on going, shoots and hits it over the target. That needs to be better. Come on. Did he get a save in? That was amazing. The run was incredible. Was getting past defenders with ease. And then it just doesn't go in. Go on then, Mane. Oh, no. Referee blows the whistle. The game is over. Ah, man. It's three points, which is great. But the story continues. The story of us chasing that infamous message continues. We are probably not going to be getting it after this performance. A 6.5 for Benjamin. Man, I worked so hard. I worked so hard to get it. We just don't get it, man. It's so upsetting. I don't know if it will ever come. I honestly don't know. By the time it comes, I might already be at the 90 rating. This is getting crazy. So now speed, physical contact, and stamina all are on 85. So it's good to see Benjamin grow in all those areas. He is quite physical, I have to admit. Um, defenders can't really get the ball off of him with ease. Uh, we are now up against West Ham after that game. Don't expect the message to come in now. Yes! Let's go! This is it, man! This is it! I thought it's best to chat over email rather than in front of other lads. You've probably noticed, but you're showing phenomenal improvement as of late. Your spectacular growth has caught everyone's eye. Both the manager and I believe that the best thing for you and the team is for you to gain as much playing experience as possible. Expect the manager to call you more in the coming days. Boys, this is it. This is it. We waited for this message for such a long time. If I dare bottle it now, I am going to be so upset. Boys, hard work pays off. Even despite not scoring in the last game, the message has come in. Finally, the message has come in. And it's now time to take on West Ham and show that we are worthy of that message. Let's get it on, man. Here it is now, West Ham stepping onto the pitch. Lovren and Matip are playing as our defenders. Please tell me they don't play defensive. Yes, they're playing attacking. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. This is, this is the time. This is the time for us, man. I have full stamina. I'm ready. I have the playtime message. This is it, boys. This is it. Now, I wonder, how long does this last? How long does the double XP last? How many games do I have now? I would guess at least two games. Here goes Robbo. Robbo. Robbo coming in with that infamous cross. It's a header coming in from Klein. Klein has pushed past Salah to get a header on. Wow. Actually, Van Dijk is playing. He is playing. I saw it. I, I thought I saw Van Dijk, but apparently I didn't. Both teams playing attacking. Let's keep that. Let's keep that this way, boys. Oh, is that a great ball? Oh, man. That could have potentially been an amazing ball, actually. Klein. Pass it across. We pass it over to Mane. Mane to Salah. Salah on his left foot. I needed that. Yes. Now they will continue on attacking. They will not give up. Mo Salah steps up at the right time. Last time when he scored the first goal, we got a hat-trick, boys. This is great. This is great. Yes. Come on. Work it out. Keep doing more of this. Keep doing more of this. Benjamin involved in the build-up. Cool. No one cares. Here we go. Mane. Dude, stop playing it straight into me. Benjamin! Oh, yes! My playtime message has arrived. And Benjamin with a rocket of a finish. We have learned that skill early on in his career. The first skill that we learned, if you guys remember, was the long shots. And that right there is an incredible shot from Benjamin. 2 0 up. Keep it up, man. We need to get a good result out of this one. We need to get at least an 8.0. Oh, that's the plan. Let's get two goals. Great shot. Look at that. The power behind that. No chance for the goalkeeper. Yes, man. Come on. Fabinho. Mane. Great ball into Salah. Salah. 
Hits the post. Benjamin to pick up the pieces. Yes. Salah, thank you for hitting the post. Let's go, boys. Benjamin runs across to the fans. His playtime message has come in at the right time. And the luck is now there as well. Imagine the chances of Salah hitting the post and it landing right in front of uh, Benjamin. They are ever so slight, but he still gets it. Yes, man. Come on. It is two goals already in this game. As I said last time, when Salah scored the first goal, we got a hat-trick. So maybe we can do it again. A hat-trick in this game? Oh man, the boost in the stats would be huge. Mane is running through. Benjamin asking for it again. He wants that hat-trick. I'm sorry, Mane. I'm sorry. I gotta be selfish. I have to ask for that pass to be played, at, played back into me. Normally, Mane, after the pass that I play here, should be going and scoring by himself, but... I need, I need to be selfish right now. Now is the time for Benjamin, not for Liverpool. Second half has begun as Liverpool will try and score more. But at the same time, West Ham have gone attacking. So perfect combination, boys. Let's get it going. Am I going to just take it on target? You know what? I might just do it. I might just do it, guys. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for the knuckle shot. And I'm going to go far. Oh, you know what? I think that was a knuckle shot because the goalkeeper couldn't really deal with it. I'll take that. Oh my god, what a ball. What a ball. Oh man, nearly scored as well. Incredible passing behind. Benjamin making the run. Look at that pass. Nabi Keita, incredible man. That was sick. If only I can get that on target. Cross, corner. Doesn't work out for West Ham. And we might actually have a chance here to maybe run in behind. Oh, wow. What a tackle. <laughs> oh, that tackle right there showed me once again that I'm still a young kid. 21 years old, gets taken out big time. Referee should be blowing the whistle. Two goals for Benjamin. Not a hat-trick this, uh, this time as I bite right into my tongue. Ow. You could audibly hear me bite into my tongue as we diff. What was that? Ah. Right there. Very important. What rating are we getting? 7.5. Let's go, Benjamin. Would have liked to get an 8.0, but didn't work out this time. A hat trick would have been outstanding. But now I want to see how much does that improve, Benjamin? Manchester City have beaten United 4 1. 69 points on us, 7 points ahead of Man City. And he has grown to an 87. Yes! That is exactly what we wanted. It's going up fast now. We got to continue performing. We have to continue performing 87 rated. We could finally get ahead of the expected progress for such a long time. The expected progress has been ahead of us and the game expects us to get to a 93 rating with Benjamin by the time he's 24. Wow. Okay, boys, we got to continue. We got to continue. Man United, let's go. Man United, let's freaking go right now. I'm all up for it. I'm ready. My playtime message is still there. Let's get it, man. Ooh, here it is. The Derby talk, huh? Not Manchester United are going to be the team to get crowd on their feet. Now go out there and give it your all. All right, boys. This is it. Derby coming up. Liverpool is ready for the big talent, Lingard, alongside Pae. Oh, boys. Man United big game big big freaking game our fans are on the fences they are singing their lungs out and here it is both teams playing attacking football we all know this is a massive match Liverpool can you do it today against Man United and most importantly can Benjamin continue to do it in this match up here as we are right in the centre waiting for the cross no cross coming in from Robbo and United start their own attacks. Oh, Van Dijk stops it immediately in its tracks. If we could get the ball moving forward, that'd be great. But United seem to be on very high pressure. Good ball. Mane, Salah. Good space. Oh, we hit the post already. We hit the post, man. <sighs> Would have been a great start. But you know what? We'll continue. We'll continue chasing it down. Oh, my God. What a ball in behind. What an incredible ball in behind, and I wanted to find Mane. As silly as that might have been, I wanted to find Mane, and I think I got a free kick. Do I take this? Please let me take this. How dare you let this be taken by Trent, man. Come on, bro. 
Come on, man. I'm the one that should have taken that. I scored the last free kick. You're going to let a right back take it. I mean, nothing against Trent. He has incredible free kicks. But... I'm the striker, man. I should be asking for that one. United now lose the ball down the wings. Good opportunity for Liverpool to push on and maybe get something done. As we play the 1-2, Mane plays it back. Benjamin shoots. Liverpool take the lead in the big matchup against Manchester United. Benjamin has done it again. His third goal while he has the message of the playtime. Get in, man. He's happy. The fans are celebrating. You can see how much it means to him. Come on, boys. Keep it up. Keep performing. United has to attack even more now. Beautiful 1-2 with Sadio Mane. Perfectly timed. Just about getting past him. And the power on that shot is unstoppable for David De Gea. Paye. Joe Gomez. I think that was Joe Gomez. Mane now with the ball. Sadio Mane has Salah in support. Salah. Mane. One twos, beautifully played. Salah through into Benjamin De Gea. De Gea comes out at the right time. Beautifully timed run from him. As 42 minutes have passed, half time is approaching. A big game between the two giants in England is happening in front of your eyes. As Robbo gets the ball, Robbo is going to play it. Yes, he is. Mane coming in with the cross. No one there to pick it up, sadly, for him. I'm going to ask for this. Another finesse, another shot, another save from De Gea. He's tough to beat. Second half begins. Joe Gomez has now come in for Andrew Robertson, which is an odd uh, move there. I don't know why Andrew was taken off. Maybe he was a, he was a bit tired. We're going to play it down to Joe. Joe should have played it through already, but hasn't. Obviously, the ultimate target is to score one more. Both teams still playing attacking football. Both teams wanting to take their opponents apart. But so far, United is the one chasing us down. I don't know if they will get it done. Their attack has low stamina. Our defense seems just about fine with no issues. But that is a big advantage in this game, that's for sure. Mosala again. Mane. Beautiful passing. As I do get in behind, that cross would have been perfect, man. If that first man doesn't get to it, we get through. United opening up some space down the center. Benjamin gets past Lindelof. Shoots. Again, Salah. Big mistake. United. What are you doing? <laughs> Mo Salah with his third goal in today's episode. He is back scoring. He is back on fire. Let's go. United have to go all out now. They have to go all out attacking. Rashford is coming off. Martial is coming in. Let's see if they can do something in this game. As we try and get another goal with Benjamin. They have to go all out attacking. There's no way they remain the way they are playing right now. I desperately want to score another one, man. I desperately want to score another one. Incredible pass by Salah. Ah, man. I don't know what to do in that position. In FIFA, I just do a barbell spin and cut inside and shoot, but in that position, I had no idea what to do, man. That was a tough one. Great pass by Salah, though, I have to admit. Benjamin gonna chase this down. 90 plus one, referee will blow the whistle. Benjamin gets one goal in the big match against United. It's not too sadly. It was David De Gea who has prevented us from doing so. A big victory with Chiellini being subbed in as well. He had his chance once again. I haven't seen him play in a long time. He is very low rated now because of his age. But guys, big performances once again from the Liverpool squad. And that gives us another 7.5. Now, I would not guess that this gives us another boost in rating. I mean, it would be great, but I don't think it's happening. And Man City have lost against Everton at home. Yes! Big gap now between City and Liverpool. And Benjamin still on his 87. But things are going up. His speed has gone up to an 86. His stamina has gone up to an 86. Physical contact has gone up. Oh no, it was already at an 85, I think. Ball control has gone up to an 85. Dude, finishing, heading, offensive awareness, all soon to be 85s. Is this message still going on? Is the message still working for this next FA Cup game? I want to know, how many games does that playtime message work for, chat? A uh, chat, comments, I mean. What does it say? Expect the manager to call on you more in the coming days. I don't know what that means. So hopefully we still have that double XP. In the FA Cup, that is uh, the quarterfinals now against Leicester City. So I'm looking forward to that. The Champions League should be returning as well. As you can see, Shakhtar Donetsk is the next team 
that we're going to be up against in the Champions League, it seems. So I'm not too worried about them. It's nice to see Benjamin be on top form, guys, and finally get that message we have worked for so hard for episodes on top of episodes. And finally, we got it, boys. I'm very thankful for you being here for this experience to see Benjamin go up uh, to an 87 in today's episode. He now has 40 five goal contributions in 37 games the man keeps on scoring keeps on doing exactly what he needs to do and hopefully will become an even better player soon enough to go up to that 88 rating i can see him easily get there so hopefully we can do that thank you guys so much for watching have a great day see you tomorrow with benjamin and hopefully getting him to that 88 rating to make him even better and hopefully we can continue on chasing down the Premier League title as we do and of course many other titles including the biggest one of them all which is the Champions League title thank you guys so much for watching have a great day take care peace